Hey guys, it's Bianca if you're new around here, and if you're not new around here, I'm so glad to see you all again. So for today's video, I'm going to be prepping for back to school. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be packing my bag, I'm going to be showing you a haul of everything I've got for back to school, and other bits and bobs like that, and also giving you some tips on starting back at school. I know I did a year 7 tips and tricks, and if you haven't watched that, it'll be in the card here. Wait, is it that? I don't know what side it's on. I don't know what side it's on, I'm really sorry. Um, it'll be in the card somewhere. Um... But I'm going to give you a general tips of like stationery and stuff like that for any years starting any school. So yeah. So I'm going to start by showing you my bag. My bag for 2022 going into 2023 is this one. It is really pretty. It is a new look bag from about seven years ago. But I can't complain. I absolutely love it. Um, it does not have a zip. It only has a clip. Which is a bit annoying because like... I can just picture Tom, one of the boys from my school putting his hand in here and taking something. Just can picture that. And he will be watching this, so I'm sorry. Um, but it is really nice. It's like a burgundy colour. As I said, it is from New Look. I think it's around £25. Um, so it is just like I've got a big pouch and then it's got a tiny little pocket here and then a zip. Is this actually a zip? What? You know that was there. And then a zip on the back, but it's probably where I'll keep like my phone and stuff. Um, when I'm not wearing my blazer it looks like a zip down here it is not real zip so moving on to the school supplies haul so this year I have so much school supplies however I'm not taking it all to school a lot of it will be staying at home for homework and stuff like that but starting with most of the stuff that's going in my school bag I have this little A5 notebook from Home Bargains um, it's just got pictures of me and my friends all over it um, and then I've got this folder, what again is from, oh no, this one's from Ryman's I think. I've had it for quite a while. It has just got flowers and roses on it. Um, and that will be going in my bag for loose paper. I'm going to get into my pencil case in a minute. And then I have a my journal. So this will be coming to school with me because I've written my timetable and stuff in it. And then I also use this to plan out like homework and when it's due and stuff like that. Because the school give you planners but I've never used them ever. I have a binder. I use this at home for any loose sheets that I have like homework or reminders. So inside I've just got some dividers. I wish they were pastel but I couldn't find any. I have a black wallet. And then I just have loads of sheets of paper to stay in here so I can do like work on loose paper and then rip them out. I then have another one of those, but this is 300 pages, um, and it's just like a recall pad. I always use these for homework. I then have some revision cards, because I used those a lot last year for French. I have some post-it notes, there's also some post-it notes in my pencil case. And then I have an A4 notebook, it has four tabs in it, um, but then obviously there's the front bit, so that will probably keep all my reminders in and my to-do lists. Um, but this again is for homework and anything else I need it for. So we're going to move over to my desk because it's a bit easier to go over my stationery. So the pencil case that goes in my school bag is just this clear one. I wanted a clear one this year because I find it so much easier. If I'm trying to find something, I know exactly where it is and I can just grab it. Um, so this is like a pink, orangey tinted one from Home Bargains. And then for all my spare stationery and my home stationery, I just have this pot from B&M, I think. Um, I've had this for quite a while. It used to have my makeup brushes in. So I'm going to start with... I've, all, I've just tipped it all out on my desk. So we're going to start with pens. So there are two different types of pens that I do love. They are the Papermate um, Inkjoy pens. And then also, if I can find one, is the Bic Four Colours ones because I need a black and um, I need a red and a green as well, so it's just easier using those ones. More compact as well, it saves me carrying like a spare green, a spare red and stuff like that. So I'm gonna put two of the, um, no, I'm gonna put one of the rose gold ones in and then three of the paper mate ones in my pencil case and then the rest are just gonna go in my little pot here. I then have a four, pack of Bic highlighters usually I get the pastel ones but they didn't have anyone any so I don't need them all for school so I'm just going to take the blue and the pink to school and the green and the yellow will stay at home I then have loads of brush pens and I used these so much last year I don't even know what for that's the thing but I've just picked out all the nice colours um, and I'm going to split them between school and home um, but I'll do that a bit later I've then got mechanical pencils and I'm going to put three of these in my actual pencil case 
for school and then i also just have a black hb pencil i keep these as well because in tests and stuff and like technical drawing at school i have to use one of these because they're just hb and then i've got a mini one for my math set i then have loads of crayola pencils because the school ones are so bad they like never work they're always cracked inside and i just don't like using them so i bring my own also going in my math in my pencil case is a protract no compass pencil sharpener a rubber a protractor and then these two triangle things do i know what they are no but i need them so i've never used them though and then a fold and snap fold snap ruler um from helix i then just have a pack of blue post notes but i think i'm gonna put those in my bag so we put them over there on my bed they know it's pink's my favorite color i have a pink Kato calculator, I love how they're pink, they're just so, oh, so cute, um, and that's just in the side of my pencil case, and I think that is everything, so I'm going to pack everything up now, because it's all over my desk, if you can see. Okay, as many of you will know that I do wear makeup to school, and this is pretty much my makeup routine, but you'll see it in depth when next week's in next week's video for my first day of school vlog um so i do like to keep a little makeup bag with me so i take products out of here morning and put them back in before i go to school so i'm going to quickly show you what i put in there um so you see and then i've got doubles of some stuff so the doubles stay in there so this is the bag i use i used to use this one but this one just found, i found was too big i use that one for my essentials that we'll do it in a minute so for my makeup bag we keep I keep a spare beauty blender, this one's just from Primark. I keep the Natural Collection um, Matte Press Powder. I keep this Body Shop Highlighter. I keep this eyelash colour and this mascara from Rimmel. If it's a day I haven't got eyelashes on, and I mostly will from now on, um, they're just little ones from Primark. Um, I then keep my e.l.f. brow pencil, my lip oil, and then also my eyelash colour usually stay in my blazer, but they go in here for now. And then brush wise, I keep this brush and then that brush for highlighter. And that is basically it. That all goes in there. It's a bit of a pain to close, but that pretty much all stays in there. Now for our essentials kit. So for my essentials kit, I use this bag, as you guys just saw. I have a feeling this is going to be too big as well. But if I find that, I will get find a smaller one somewhere. So inside this little bag, I keep a Nivea deodorant. I use the wild deodorant, I didn't know. I then keep a spray, so this is a spray just in case, but usually whatever spray I use in the morning I'll take with me, whether that's a Victoria's Secret body spray or stuff like that, but here I just have the Caribbean Soul So Body Mist, I then have a Body Shop Coconut Hand Cream, I have a Vaseline, in this little tub, uh, not tub, in this little bag I have bobby pins, I have tiny hair ties and then I have bigger hair ties. There's actually an attachment to my Dyson, TikTok Shop Dyson, but I use it as a hairbrush, so I keep that in there because it's size fit in there i then keep some earrings and i'm going to cut them actually i'm just going to cut them here and i'm just going to cut off like a strip and i think that is literally everything oh nail file and then also in there will be gum and mints i think that is everything for that little pouch so those are my three now we get to the sad part what makes me actually feel like i'm going to school is packing my bag so this bag is actually quite heavy what i didn't realize like with nothing in it like, there's nothing in here it is quite heavy but it's fine so inside is going to be a folder as i said it's going to be an a5 notebook i'm then going to put revision cards in that little zip part um also going in there is my pencil case And then these two, I'm going to see if I can put them in the same bag, but if not, they're both going in, obviously. Also being added into there will be my water bottle on the day. Um, but that is it. Um, I'm going to show you guys. I don't think there's anything else I need to show you, but I'm going to talk to you guys. So I do recommend not having a school bag that is too heavy. The mine was a bit heavy, so I might see if I can combine um, my makeup and my essentials into one bag. But not you, last year I couldn't. Um, but that is basically it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed packing my bag and prepping for me for back to school. I love you all a lot and I'll see you in the next vi week's video. Bye! Mwah.